Can we talk KD for a second? Um, I I've been know, waiting. You no, know, uh, he's been he had his little back and forth with uh Michael Rappaport. Oh. Um, you know, obviously it was some things that were said in private that were brought to the light. There's uh, nothing you did mention. I knew you. I knew she was gonna say that. There There's no such thing. There is nothing when you're KD. I'm sorry. I knew she was Stop gonna it. say that. Stop it. And I have Stop a huge it. problem with that. I have a huge Stop problem it. with that. I, I, I don't make the rules. So, so because I'm so because I'm talented at basketball, I don't have privacy because I'm talented. Listen, no, uh, but oh, hold on. Wait, wait, can okay. I make this real quick? Let me just say this real quick because yeah. Eric, you mentioned uh, Donald Sterling a little while ago, right? So we got we got to play devil's advocate here. So if it's if everyone is okay with his private phone conversation being leaked and then him being forced out as an owner, if that's acceptable then how can we then say it's not acceptable for Michael Rappaport to put out private text of KD saying some real reckless stuff? We got it. We got I got it. it. I got the answer. I got the answer. What Sterling did had to do with his management. Yes. Like his perception, his point of view will affect the decisions he makes. These points of view will not affect the decisions KD makes on the court. Now, will it will it hurt his chances in terms of endorsements? Sure. But is he still a ball player? Okay. Yes. And this, hold on really quickly, really quickly. This goes back to my question, and this is way off topic. Do people still listen to R. Kelly's music? Some people do still say he can make music. I mean, if it comes up. Kevin, Kevin Durant can still play ball. Yeah, okay. he, he can still play ball. Yeah, but, um, this has nothing to do with that, but okay, so <laughs> nothing to do with that. There, there, there's a couple things you have to think about here. One, first of all, let's let's start with Katie's apology. Okay, so his apology was, "I'm sorry that you saw that." Not, "I'm sorry I said it." Not, "I'm sorry I did it." He was, "I'm sorry that you saw it." Okay, me but too. All, so let let's stop a second, Katie. Don't don't even don't even. Don't even act like people don't care what you have to say. Don't act like, first of all, what Rappaport said wasn't even that big of a deal. He was like, just don't look like you're gonna cry. Why engage? Why engage with that? And why take it so far when you know that's coming out? Rappaport is known for doing that. He has a whole segment on his show about that. Why would you engage with that unless you wanted it to come out? So, I don't know. So, but, so who, who, who do we owe an apology to? Who, who's he apologizing to? Rappaport? That's it? No, no. Are we no, supposed no. to apologize to the fans? Oh, but oh, no. Because we're in a sense we live in it. We also live in a sensitive society, right? But now. that's but that. So then that's my problem. The that's troll, true. the troll, the troll in this situation is getting supported. We're supporting a troll. You just said it yourself. Why did you engage? He's trolling people, right? That he has a segment on his show. So we're supporting troll culture by no, saying no, you no. shouldn't have responded to him. No. In private. No. We should have responded, but it's just, you know, you, you have to, we, okay, for, you know, Kevin Durant, at the end of the day, he's a superstar basketball player, but he's also a, a black man in America. So we we don't get those same, we, we're not afforded those same luxuries where we can say certain things and not be put to the fire, so to speak. So he has to understand, he has to understand that and choose his words wisely. You could clap back at Michael Rappaport, but you know, just that the language and some of the things that he was saying is like, bro, you know where they're going to take it because of you saying this. I don't know. I, I listen, this is a fine line. And Lawrence and I have talked about this many a times on the show. It's like, you know, what is private and what is public and what role model status means? And do you really have to play into that? Yes or no. But really, at the end of the day, I think your bank account is the thing that that, you know, these guys are concerned about mostly, right? Because does Katie really care about all the little kids that look up to him? No, I don't think really, if, if that's the way he's talking about it. And if he doesn't that's not talk, fine either. So I mean, I get it. Listen, if you want to be real and you that's how you want to live and that's how you want to do it, that's fine. There, are, I'm sure there will be consequences that come your way in terms of sponsorship or whatever, yes or no. But I just don't, for me personally, I just don't understand like what triggered him to respond and that like, why would you even, what does it even matter? Like why? But that's not up, that's not to, up to us to decide how people are affected by other people interacting with them. That's like me walking into a, session, a, a situation and causing a reaction in you and then saying, how dare you respond that way? No, no, that's I, not up for us. And then I have, and then you have to apologize for how I perceive your response. And then to make it worse, you have to apologize, not just to me, but to everybody now, because I picked at you and then I made it public. I don't support this. I will say this. They do have this, there are a lot of uh, morality 
uh, clauses that people have to adhere to. So, I, you know, so yeah, he's going to have to apologize. Now, if, if, I, if I'm in a situation where I'm arguing with somebody, I'm, I'm, I'm the type of person that I'm going for the worst possible thing because I want to crush you if we're going back and forth. You know, now granted, I don't want everything to be like, I, I'm not going to say that on live on the air while we're doing the show. There's certain things I might not say. And it's also like, that'll be things I might say if we was in person, just because I know, you know, things to go out and I might not want that stuff to that side of me to go out. But I'm not going to sit up here and say, you come at me crazy. Or if I, if I feel offended to that level, I'm not going to come back at you in a certain way. But he is a, a major public figure. And once it's out, yeah, even though I don't, Again, I don't. I agree with you, Aaron. As far as the apology goes, he, he wasn't apologizing, you know, for what he said. He was just apologizing because he got caught and everything went out there. But I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I wouldn't clap back at somebody that came at me sideways too. Well, listen, I, you know, a part of me respected the fact that he didn't apologize because I was like, at least he owns it and he stands by what he said. Cool. At least he's real about it because I, I prefer that than that, like fake ass apology that like your PR people, you know, wrote for you just to read, just so you can like absolve yourself of the guilt of it. Nah, I mean, you can miss me with all that. I don't care. So at least he kept it real. I respected that. What I didn't understand was what, like these, listen, guys, come on. You know this, when you sign up for this, you, whether you signed up for the role model job or you signed up for the public figure job, it's part of who you are. There are, you sign contracts. There are things in your contract that you understand going into it. He knew he was, when that came out, he knew he was getting fined for it. He but, knew it. And that's, to... how they, that's how they, what? No, go. No, but so I'm saying like, I understand there's like the personal, the private, the role model, the professional, there's all of these things and how, how much access should we really have and why do we hold them to this higher standard just because they can, they can ball, right? So I get all that and I hear you and I understand that's your point, Lawrence, and I totally get it because we've had this conversation many a times, but at the same time, like you have to understand, you have to, as long as you can sleep at night, and you're happy with it, I guess that's really what, what matters at the end but, of the day. But Peep, but Peep, look at the position we're all sitting in, right? We have a position where we, all four of us, have platforms, and on our platforms, we get to say our opinion, and our opinion has the opportunity to influence other minds. Are we not in the position to now discuss certain things that we've accepted as a norm? We accept it as a norm that fans are mad invasive. We accept it as a norm that when you become famous or you become super talented, you lose your privacy. But we're in a position, the four of us are in a position to actually discuss that and set up new norms and actually point out, wait a minute, fans have way too much human access to other humans who just happen to have talents and they have way too much dependence and reliance on them to help them raise their children. Yes, but athletes That's for also, us to say, we should say that. Yes, but also, but also celebrities and athletes have free choice. They have freedom to do what they want to do. So you know, when you're in that spot, if you're going to make the choice to put that out there, there is a possibility that becomes public. Do you care or not care? That's up to you. But in this day and age, in the social media age, like nothing is off limits, it seems these days. I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm just saying that's the world we live in now. So when you decide to go in and say the things that you said, there is a huge, especially to another celebrity or famous person, there's a high likelihood it's coming out. So it's whether you want it to or not, you are who you, you're KD, one of the most popular basketball players on the planet. Okay, like it's just so I totally I hear both sides. I see what you're saying completely, but this is the way it is right now. I feel like I, I, we got to lighten up the mood a little bit, right? So, being that is Paul Pierce, yeah, yeah, being that is being that is Easter Sunday. I feel like I should reference the God MC. Um, sensitive thugs, they all need hugs. You know what I'm saying? KD is ultra sensitive, bro. He ultra is. sensitive, and it doesn't matter what it is. He has a problem with any opinion that he that he doesn't agree with. Uh, but I will say this, and I follow Michael Rappaport on social media. He's a good follow. He's entertaining. But yeah. I think Michael Rappaport was wrong here because he himself, in his own apology, said, KD and I are friends, and we would joke in certain manners, but then I felt like he went too far in this particular exchange. And so once you tell me you friends, why can't you get that man on the phone? Right. Why can't you guys just discuss this yeah, and say, hey, wrong. KD, I felt you went a little too far there. And as a man, man to man, I ain't like it, and we're going to cut it short right there. You know, Anthony and I have had heated exchanges in text messages, joking exchanges, sometimes to the, to the 
to the rest of the world, they might feel like, oh, you guys are talking about it. You gone a little too far. But at the end of the day, that's my man. And I can always get him on the phone and say, look, we good now? I bet. No, no problem. So I agree. I, to me, that's where I think Michael Rappaport is wrong. I think KD too often allows himself to get p- pulled into these discussions too often, whether it's, it is a Michael Rappaport or a fan on Twitter. Right. He did, and, yeah, and, and he's done it. A, he's done that a lot before. But that's what I'm saying. When do you step? Like, where are his people? If he can't do it, where are his people step in and be like, "Yo, bro, chill." Like, we don't need. Why make a fake account for this one. Responsible this. Like, like, no. fake account and get at him. Ultimately, I, <laughs> KD shouldn't even have his phone anymore. KD yeah, should not have his phone anymore. That. Yeah, that. take his phone away because he has a problem with everything on social media, and he feels he needs to respond to everything. At some point, you got to step back and look, let the people say whatever they're going to say. Aaron, I agree with you. When you when you take on that job in any public life, you have to understand what comes with it. People are going to dig and people are going to try to find flaws in you and people are going to try to expose certain things. And that's all right. You got to have thick skin to say, I don't care what you think about me. I'm still going to do my job. Right. Right. No. Yeah, I totally agree. Whether you sign up for it or not, whether you agree with it or not, it's just the way it is. And so you, then you, you, it's on you. You have to decide how you're going to handle it and move about. And for me, I just don't think KD should even give it any energy. I think he needs to focus on staying healthy and balling out on the court. Just, and that's, that's all the message you need to send. I don't even know why you need to respond. You're KD, you're KD. Look in the mirror, dude. Let it go, bro. It's all good. And just go back to playing basketball. We want to make this into a Nate Robinson, uh, a Jake Paul situation, and y'all want to step oh. in the ring and put the gloves on. Why you got to say that about that's Nate? So yeah. messed up. Man. Why you got to say oh, that about man. Nate? That's an image. Saying, he did challenge him to a fight, so I'm just saying, if that's nah, scary, man. you might as well a celebrity fight, and then we can watch it for the world. And then you no, can we're no, we're not doing that. By the way, I don't think KD can fight. I'm just going to throw that out there. I don't want to fight him. I just don't think he can fight. <laughs> he probably can't, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> You already know who it is. It's your boy, Charlie Clips. Harlem all day, every day, even when we outside. We still in the building. You already know what it is, man. Real fans, real talk. Uh Uh-huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. Talk. Real fans, real talk. We as real as you thought.